a long time ago, maybe eight to 10 years at this point, dang, that kind of just dates my music video journey. I saw these lights in a music video and I wanted these lights in my music video, but I had absolutely no idea how to get these sorts of lights in my music video. I went to Lowe's, I bought the closest thing to it, and I just threw it into my music video. And I thought that it looked the coolest, that was like my coolest music video at the time. I thought it was so sick. But at the time, those lights were Kino Flows. Kino Flows were the tube light to use. And even then you had to rig them up crazy and wire them to get them without the fixture and put them into a set or music video. A couple years later, tried the exact same thing. And then a couple years after that, I got access to what I would say was the easier option to get these solo lights into a music video. Quasar Science Tubes, awesome, love those. And then I finally tried a stairs. A stairs are like the king of it all, in my personal opinion, given it's probably a better option. But to my knowledge, a stairs are the ish. They have full 360 tube lighting. You can literally animate every single pixel, run them in chain, do all kinds of different animations. And I use these for a music video. And this had been my dream for years. I wanted to always have these lights in a music video and have them in the background and have them look cool and have them dancing and turning colors. And that was just the cool thing to do to me. And I did that a couple times. And after I did it a couple times, I was no longer interested in using these lights. I remember for the longest, I wanted to buy a set of these lights and I wanted to throw them in every single one of my music videos. But after I used them a couple of times, I was just like, eh, do I really want to keep doing this? This is very popular. This is something that I see all of the time. So I began to believe that these sorts of lights were just gimmicks. Just lights that you get to randomly throw into the background of a music video. I almost felt like they were crush shots, crutch shots. And I didn't want to always have to lean on a crutch of having a practical tube in the background. It just kind of became a gimmick to me. So I just disregarded them. It's like, all right, okay, I have my time with these. I'm never going to use these again. Or if I do use these again, it has to be something that's super cool. It has to be a shape or something that is just more outlandish than just randomly throwing these in the background of a shot, right? Then I went to LA and uh, I saw how the DP that I hired was using these lights in the music video. And I was like, holy sh... I've actually never thought to use these lights this way. Now, if you're a real cinematographer or you make actual films, you probably always knew that these lights are so much more than just practical, cool looking shapes in the background of a shot. These are some of the most convenient lights that you can get and you can use these in such a unique way, something way different than what you could do with 120Ds and big soft boxes and that sort of stuff like that. I've always been that kind of guy. I love big light sources. I want everything to be soft. I'm always going for the huge light source. But when you get yourself in so many different situations where you can't fit the big light source into the scene or you just can't get any light that is similar like that in a shot, you have to improvise. And I think that this is where I really unlock the true potential of these types of lights. And that's why these have slowly become my favorite lights to use on pretty much everything, man. I'm gravitating towards these lights so often. This is the Nanlite Pavo Tube 30C, and I don't wanna talk specifically about this light because this video isn't about this light. It's about lights like this, lights that are slim, lights that are easy to put into places where you can't get big light sources, lights that make it so easy for you to do motivated lighting in small spaces. This thing right here is really a game changer. And once I bought this set, it has just unlocked a total like different mindset when it comes to lighting scenes. I'm no longer thinking that, okay, well, I really can't fit a 120D in here. How am I going to light this scene? This thing right here or tube lights in general are just awesome. And I feel like every filmmaker should definitely have at least one of these in their set. And like I said, I don't want to make this video specifically about the man like Pablo too, because you can get a tube light from in an array of different places. You can get wand lights. These are all kind of sitting in the exact same genre of lights that I'm talking about right now. And I even want to eventually get to a point where I buy the, 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 the light mats as well, because I think that those are incredible. And I've seen so many use cases where people mount those. They're lightweight. You can stick them to places that you could never get a big, huge dome or octo box anywhere. And I definitely want to get one of those. Before I get into a couple of the use cases that I've used for these lights and show you exactly how powerful these is and why you definitely need one, let me talk about Canva real quick. Canva is awesome. And Canva is also something that I feel is essentially vital for pretty much any creative 
entrepreneur out there. Canva is an online design platform for you to create an array of different assets for your business. You can create logos, you can create flyers, you can create music video previews like I do for my clients. You can also create YouTube thumbnails. You can create business cards. It's so many different templates on this website and the use case is so easy. You really just go in and upload your assets, plug them into a template. And before you know it, you have something that looks completely professional without any knowledge or background experience in graphic design. And Canva is completely free, but Canva Pro gives you a lot more access to these assets for you to use for your business and just designing and they have different audio they it's it's crazy you got to check out canva man there's so many different things on this platform so down in the description there's going to be a link to take you over to canva my link will give you an extended 45 day trial of the canva pro subscription try it out i definitely think it's a vital asset to us creatives and also if you have four other friends you can link up five people on one canva pro subscription for one low cost so I think it's a no-brainer, man. Definitely get a Canva subscription. Now, when it comes to these tube lights, man, I've used these in so many different ways. The way a lot of people like to use tube lights in the easy way, and I would say the crutch way, not to say that it's not cool, but we've just seen it so much, is that you just randomly throw it in the shot. Like, for this special episode and be talking about tube lights, you can see I just have these random tubes randomly thrown in the shot, and it looks cool. Gives me a nice little halation bloom right there on my, uh, my sleeve. It just looks cool, you can't deny this, but it's so many different use cases that you can use these for. One big one is in the bathroom, right? <laughs> the bathroom is one of those spaces where it is so hard to light. You could bring a ton of different lights to a shoot and it's very rare that any of them are gonna work in the bathroom because it's so small, but these are the lights for bathrooms. You can just turn off the lighting fixture in the bathroom and gaff tape these to exactly right over top of the mirror and it just replicates the look of a bathroom light. The quality of light is much better. You have black color options. You could change the color. You can also put a grid on this to directionalize the light a little bit better and flag it off where you don't want it. This is like the best light for a bathroom. And I like, I stand by that hundred percent. Another really dope use case that I've used these tubes for is just replicating the look of a TV. Sometimes it can be hard to mount a light over a TV or to actually get the TV ambient enough to light a subject's face in front of it. These are cool because majority of tube lights have different effects, different lighting effects. And you can just turn one on, mount this right above the TV. And essentially you have a motivated lighting setup that looks like the TV's lighting your subject. I love it for that. I love the tubes for that. And I think one of the hugest use cases for these is just shots where you have such a small space and you just can't get your stands off the floor. That's my biggest use for these. Now, I don't necessarily recommend that you use these the way that I do. I'm super dangerous. I don't care. I'm going to mount these with gaff tape to pretty much anywhere. I think they're light enough, but discretion. Do what you want to do with them, right? <laughs> I've used these to light an entire scene and mount these all over the place and get all of my stands off the floor. And it is such an easy use case for that, man. I love it. It makes lighting so easy. It makes approaching different setups so easy. And if you're going super wide or you need to do a full 360 or 180 degree shot, these are huge options for that, man. These make motivating lighting so simple to do. Other ways we've used these are just literally putting them on a cheap Amazon stand and having one of our homies Hollywood the light right over top of the subjects. Like these are super simple. I feel like everybody needs one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that, but definitely buy tube light, man. And obviously the use case of you just throwing them into a shot, having them look cool. I've done this tons of different times, uh, tons of different music videos. You can do RGB, you can have them flash and they look cool. You know, sometimes a music video calls for that look, but often I try not to use it that way because that's what we're so used to. But I think that this is low key, the king of motivated lighting for a lot of small like areas. And uh, if you don't have one, I definitely recommend it. You don't have to buy this one specifically, but if you want to, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's tons of different options. Nanlite has an updated version of this. They have a smaller version of this. You also have Quasar Science. You have Astera tubes. Uh, you have wand lights. It's so many lights that are very similar to this, but I'm just more so speaking of the type of light. You know, this is the one, and I definitely feel. If you don't have one, you should get one. Do me a favor, man. Head down to the comment section and let me know what's your favorite kind of light. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. But with that being said, I'm out, y'all. Peace.